doing good. Today, we are going to study about a beautiful play which is written by Robert Scott Lario. Before that, who feed this whole earth? Yes, farmers. Farmers are the persons who feed all this earth. The work of a farmer is hard and eventful. This play is about a farmer and his daughter and a merchant. This play takes place in a city, Palermo, a city of Italy. Let's move on to the class. Clever Carla. In the city of Palermo, Italy, there lived a poor farmer and his young daughter Carla. The farmer worked hard to cultivate fine grains and fresh vegetables, which he sold at a nearby market. Carla helped her father by watering the plants and collecting the grains. Scene 1 One day, the farmer loaded his wagon with grains and hitched up his only horse. Farmer, wish me luck, Carla. I'm going to the market and hope to return before dark with my pockets filled with money. Carla, good luck, Papa. Do come back soon. I will have the rest of the grains collected by the time you come back. Mention that this play takes place in a place called Palermo. There was a poor farmer and his daughter lived. And he worked hard in that farm to cultivate fresh vegetables and grains. After harvesting the vegetables, he is loading his vegetables and grains in the wagon. And he is asking to daughter that, My dear, wish me a leg. I will come back soon with pocket full of money. What's the name of his daughter? Yes, Carla. And she is saying that, Yes, Papa. Before you are arrival, I will collect the rest of grains. And he went to the market. Next, scene 2. In the street, merchant. Hey, wait my good fellow. He picks up a handful of grain and admires them. I see you do fine work. Very fine indeed. He looks at the farmer with a silly grain. How much for everything? Farmer, 20 copper pieces for everything. Merchant, it's a deal. Here is the money. The merchant climbed onto the wagon, seats himself next to the farmer. Now, step down and be on your way. Farmer, what's this? Merchant, come now, my dear fellow. Let us not argue. You did agree to sell me everything, did not you? Farmer, well, yes, but merchant, I take you at your word, everything, include your wagon and your horse. After all, a deal is a deal. If you don't agree with me, we will go before the judge. Third is one just down the street. So, when he reached to the market, he met a merchant. Who's a merchant? Yes, a person who buys goods or things from the others. So, that merchant asked or that merchant praised this farmer, Oh, your grains are 
Nice. Can you please sell me for this? After hearing this, that poor farmer said, Yes, I will give you this. Grains. Merchant asked, 20 copper piece for everything? Farmer said, Yes. After hearing this, Merchant said that, Okay, it's a deal. Then he asked, Farmer stepped down from his wagon. So he asked, For what? This is my car trolley. Then, for what I want to step down from this wagon? Merchant said, You only said that. For everything, it is 20 copper piece. So, this merchant cheated that poor farmer. First, the farmer did not agree with him. The merchant took this farmer to the judge. And that judge said that a deal is a deal. If you said everything, you want to give everything to that merchant. Okay? Moving on to the third scene, scene 3 in the court. Judge, did you agree to sell everything? Farmer, well, yes, but. Judge, then a deal is a deal and you must do as you agreed. The farmer walked back home with the cruel merchant's love ringing in his ears. When he gets home, he explains everything to Carla just as it happened. Carla, what a greedy old man. But don't worry, Papa, I have an idea. Early the next day, Carla selected a basket full of the best ripe watermelons that the farmer had ever made. Carla, let me try my like at selling this. The merchant took this poor farmer to Jet and Jet said that if you agree for everything you want to give everything to that merchant. After hearing this the farmer was very sad and he went to his house and said all those things to his daughter. What's his daughter's name? Yes, Carla. After hearing this, she said to his father, Don't worry, Papa. Definitely. Let's find out a way. So, the next day, what happened? She took a basket full of ripe watermelon from their farm. That was the best watermelon which grew on their farm. Moving on to the scene 4. In the street. Merchant, young lady, you look tired. Perhaps I can help you. Carla, that would be very nice indeed. She hauled out a pair of watermelons. Merchant, how much for everything? He grins slowly, thinking he can't make another good deal for himself. Carla, how much will you give me? The merchant takes three copper coins in his hand. Merchant, these are difficult time, lady. This is all I can offer. Carla, everything in your hand? Merchant, yes. Certainly, Carla, then it is a deal. She held out her hand for payment. The merchant grins slowly and slides the coins into her hand. Carla, oh, thank you. And I see that you have three lovely things. I will have them as well. Thank you. They are very colorful. Merchant, what? You must be crazy. 
Carla. But you had agreed to give me everything in your hand. Didn't you? And do you remember a deal is a deal. Just the way you had a deal with my father the other day. Merchant. Oh no, reluctantly he removed the rings and gave them to Carla. He wipes his tears. She see his tears and return the rings. Carla, I can't treat anybody as you did. My father told me not to harm anybody. Take your ring back. The merchant looked at Carla in wonder. When he reached to the market, she met that merchant who cheated her father. That merchant came near to Carla and he asked, Oh, young lady, I will help you. Can you please sell it for me? Carla said, Okay, I will give you. And she asked, how much will you give for me? He says, I will give you three copper coins. Again, she asked, everything with you? He gave a promise to her, certainly I will give whatever I have. So, he gave three copper coins to her to get out watermelon. She said that, you want to give that three rings to me. He asked, for what? For what I want to give my three rings to you? By hearing this, merchant reluctantly removed his rings and gave to Karya. Reluctantly means with sad. And he wiped his tears. Okay? By seeing this, Carla gave his ring back and he remembered him one thing. My father never taught me to cheat anyone. Even though yesterday you cheated my father, now I don't have any intention to cheat you. And she returned her ring to him. Do you understand the lesson? So what's more of this lesson? Yes, never cheat anyone. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Am I right? Okay, let's move on to the book bag activities. Moving on to the first activity. Here you have some pictures in your textbook. So you want to give the numbers which one has happened the first? Will you do that? After giving the numbers, here you have some space to write that. You want to write in the order which happened the first and the next one like that. Will you do that? Okay. The second activity is, read these lines which describe a farmer's work. When the sun rises, I go to the work. When the sun goes down, I take rest. I dig the well from which I drink. I farm the soil which is my food. A farmer tills and toils in the farm to produce good product. The work of a farmer is hard and eventful, as described in the above line. Do you know any farmer in your locality? Collect their names, the crops they cultivate, the product, the way they sell it. Here is a four-line poem that describes the hard work of a farmer. In this activity, you want to write name of any farmer who is living near your locality and what he is cultivating and where he is selling that. This is very easy homework. So, we want to write this. Next activity is, in page number 126, you can see an image. In 
that, you can see some children are playing in river. A farmer is in farm. A lady is giving water to cows. You want to describe and write here what they are doing there. Okay, that's about today's class. I hope you all are understand today's class and will do your homework. Am I right? Wish you a wonderful day. Thank you all.